Oh, 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 wait a bit. Welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series. Myself, Critical Rocket. We're with the Gargoyle. And we're with the clan's favourite, the D. I love the D. Can't get enough of it. So, uh, the Delta version is an all-energy version of the Gargoyle that has two ER large, triple medium pulse, and a single ER small, which probably would have been used for anti-infantry work. So, uh, this is a version that actually has uh, centre torso mounted equipment. Yes, I know. Shocking, isn't it? It's one that doesn't rely entirely on its arm-mounted weaponry. It has two, two, and two. So, yeah, it's an uh, interesting little setup. And, uh, hang on, we're in the sort of two year large, uh, two, three, four, five, no, 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 no that's, that's correct, yeah. Just double-checking that they haven't made a mistake. Yeah, so uh, it's two in the arms, two in the CT, and uh, that's about it. It's six energy hard points, again, it's the magic number for the gargoyle. And it's... Pretty decent. Now, I'll preface this, this may have the glorious domination theme on it, but it is a loss. But I kept it because it's got the player of my favourite name in Macaron Online, Pastor of Muppets. Uh, I do uh, I do enjoy that name, and it always gives me a giggle every time I see it in game. So yeah, uh, I dropped with uh, Pastor of Muppets in this game, and uh, it's on Grim, everyone's favourite map, uh, outside of HPG at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an efficient build actually. It doesn't overheat too quickly. Uh, damage is there, and it's a nice spread of weaponry uh, right across the mech. I do like uh, nice little symmetrical builds as well, so that that was quite good. You can generally fire all the weapons in a some close range a few times before you come close to overheating, and um, yeah, it's uh, designed mostly around the sort of all-round kind of configuration. It's not built specifically for any. A particular role on the field. It does have a targeting computer, which in tabletop terms allowed it allowed the pilot, for instance. So if you so like, let's say we have to help with this because targeting computers in macro line uh, just act as like a, a big buff. It's like a buff in a box. The bigger the box you pick, the bigger the buffs you get. But in BattleTech, targeting computers were far more important for the clan side because uh, normally when you rolled to hit, you uh, you rolled your dice to fire your weapons determined which ones of those hit, and then you would roll to determine what location on the enemy mech you hit, or the vehicle or wherever, and that would then define where your damage went. A bit like how HPS Battletech works, so like you, without using um, a cold shot ability, you, you can't pick where you're aiming at. But for the clans, targeting computers allowed you to do things like cold shot, arm, leg, CT, head. This is what made mechs like the Warhawk so deadly. Uh, the Prime version, because it was a mech that, uh, if a player was using it, could just go aim shot head and fire three of those four, or all four of those ERPPCs, and you could one shot enemy mechs. And it was uh, a little bit power gamery, tiny bit OP. Obviously, they can't do that in Mech Crying Line because every shot is a cold shot when the player is controlling exactly where the weapons fire. So, targeting computers had to become something else, and thus they became a kind of uh, a proto skill tree buff in a way. That, a targeting computer on top of your skills, is even more impressive now because of all the benefits they give. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the only sort of unique element of the Gargoyle D, is its targeting computer, which I think is only a Mark 1, so the buffs aren't that extravagant anyway, uh, based on the weight. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a fun build. I like it. I'd recommend having a go of it. If uh, if you haven't already uh, picked it up, or whatever. Uh, th this map, it felt like this map was gonna go well for us because the couple of them X sort of filtered out into the open, but it just couldn't seem to get the kill shots on anything. It was really annoying, and uh, it just after that it just kind of went to shit. I I think I got out of position because I was trying to push forward. It didn't really work out. Um, so yeah, it, it was a bit crappy. Uh, I mean, you can see the missiles raining down. That mech just keeps going. Keeps on surviving. Yeah, I don't know how it just kept how it survived most of those hits, but it did. Got legged in the end. I think he does get dropped, but yeah, the the rest of the, the rest of their team were just yeah big stompy death ball, and uh, that's what finishes off in the end. But yeah, um, the the Delta is a, is a decent version of the Gargoyle. Uh, it, it's up there with the Alpha and the Charlie. The Bravo is absolute trash. Don't know about with the Bravo. And uh, I I have a special. A special place for the Prime because it's so bad. <laughs> it's such a poor man. Uh, it's it's outclassed a lot by um, by the other mechs available. Uh, but sorry, by the other variants available uh, to it. The Prime is is not that hot. You can see I'm around how there's chicken at this point. 
because I got shot in the back and didn't know what to do. So I kind of panicked and then ran out to the open, and then things just got worse from there. So yeah, uh, it kind of sucks. Those bloody annihilators that shoot me through the gaps of the uh, the gas uh, canister. There. Yes, I wonder what it is. This map is supposed to be. Is it just like a refinery? We got this. We got these like huge gas canisters and stuff, but. It's in an area that's full of large crystal deposits, so they're refining the crystals, or is what? Why is there a base here? What, what's what's this facility doing exactly? Is it is it some kind of some kind of like resource extraction site, or is it just a place on on a planet? I'd like to know. There's just what is, what exactly are we fighting around here? Well, what are these things for? I've never questioned this before. A lot of the, lot of the maps have these questions. Like, you know, Tourmaline's got a story. Big fucking dropship crash there and those bits of salvage. You can imagine, like, maybe they're, they're fighting over, like, trying to grab some of the bits and pieces from that. And the River City seems pretty self explanatory There seems to be some kind of conflict going on there and where, whatever else. But, um, you know, what, what, what's, what's going on here at Grimm? What are you doing? Ah, it's just a map these days, isn't it? No one really cares, isn't it? It's, Put the maps out there and off they go. Well, that was me dead. I managed to get killed before I dropped. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think this is poor Pastor of Muppets. I think he's, he might have crashed out, which uh, I have read about some crash issues with the new patch of MechWarrior, so uh, could be part of the problem. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, leave you with that one uh, before I cough horribly. So uh, have a good one all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!